So the next thing I'm going to try out now is some of the lip colors and um, so I got a few of them. One of them is the Pillow Plush and they have a bunch of these. It looks kind of cool. I'll describe it in a second. And then I got one lipstick just from like their classic lip color selection. And then I got two lipsticks from their sheer collection. So I'm going to put all these on and show you guys what they look like. So let me start with the Pillow Plush because this seems to be a really fun idea for lip products. So this says it's um, cushiony lip smoothing balm. It gives your lips extra love with a sheer dose of color. So you can put it under lipstick or just by itself. Again with this they had a ton of different colors. I got this one called Bubblegum because it looked really pretty when it was in the picture and I love light pinks. And also the blush and bronzer is kind of growing on me. Um, so it comes like this. I think it's really cute, easy to take with you places. It looks cute. I like it. And open it up, and it has the pink right here, and that's my fingerprint in there. It didn't come like that. So, and I haven't put it on my lips. I just kind of took my finger and just wanted to feel it because the name of it, what is it, Pillow Plush, it just makes you want to, like, feel it. So the color is bubblegum, and I haven't smelled it. Oh! It, it smells kind of like strawberry, not really like that bubblegum flavor. When you kind of swatch it, there's not really too much color. You can see some very, very sheer pink right there, but it does say it's sheer, so I can't knock it down there. So, um, and when you feel it here, it's really cool. I really like the feel of it. It's just really nice texture. So, let me put it on my lips. People get mad how I put my lip gloss and stuff on. Hmm. I'm just like putting more and more on. Actually, it's a little more color than I thought it would be. Um, definitely a sheer pink, but it's a nice color. And, oh, and their tutorials, they have tons of tutorials on mcosmetics.com. And they put them like on their lips and on their cheeks. I don't know, is it that versatile? Sometimes I don't like touching this to my lips and then touching it to my cheek and then again on my lips it's like that doesn't make sense so I'm just gonna keep it on my lips for now but and it seems like it would be too sticky for the cheek I don't wouldn't really recommend that but nice color nice sheer pink the scent and taste is very light so that's not really shouldn't be a problem for people I don't think um I think my lips still feel chapped and they still look chapped um, so I don't think it's like super hydrating, but I don't even know if it said it was. It just seems like it should be like really soft and like moisturizing, but uh, just for like a little sheer lip tint, it's not bad. It seems like it's drying already. <laughs> like, is it gone now? I mean, I just put it on, but it feels like a lot of it has just kind of like my lips drink it or something. I don't think I need more of these, like I think one of them is enough. Okay, and next thing I'm going to try is a lipstick, and this is one of their Lip Gallery Creamy Color Sheer Lipsticks, and this is in the color Cupcake Pink. I love light pinks, what can I say? Um, if you watched my haul on my other channel, my channel Fashionably Jamie, then I was wearing this in that video, and I, I like it. So it comes in just a tube like this, it says some words on it like emotion, embrace, empower, and body. I just realized they all start with EM, oh, esteem, oh, EM's at the end of that one, embellish and embark. So got the EM theme going. And I liked how Michelle said it was like EM is a reflection of me because that works on, on so many levels. So here it is right here. It's definitely that pale pink. I don't really have a lipstick like this. I don't know. It seems like I should, but I don't. None that look like this. This looks more like some gloss colors I have. So I was excited to try this on. So I'm going to put this on now. Please ignore my majorly chapped lips. I don't know what to say. They're so chapped. I was in the sun yesterday, and that probably has something to do with it. So just ignore that. Um, so this actually feels really nice going on, despite the fact that my lips look majorly chapped. Um, let me kind of swatch it so you can see it also. 
So right there, just like a nice, really pale pink. Um, it just it looks like something that would come in a gloss, and I'm excited to have it in a lipstick. And it's definitely sheer. It has like a little built-in shine in it, and I like it. If it was not sheer, it would be way too much for me. So I'm happy this is more of like a sheer, and it's not totally sheer. Like you can definitely still see it, and um, and it looks really nice. I really like this color, so I'm happy about this. Next one is another one of the sheer ones, and I'm so excited to try this on because the color looks so pretty. And this one is called Showstopper, and it's more like a pinky color, so let me go ahead. I'm really, really excited to see what this looks like. So same kind of tube, and open it up, and it's this color right here, which I think looks so pretty, and it looks so pretty online. And remember, it's one of the more sheer ones, it's called Sheer, and generally ones that I like better anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So again, it feels the same as the other one. It has that slight shine. It's a little bit sheer, but not so sheer, like that it's not even worth putting on, which I'd be pissed about. But I love this color. This is so pretty. This is so me, and what I love about this is I don't have a color like this. I feel like it's unique. They made this color for this line, and it's just pretty. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the smell of these. Um, I think it's L'Oreal that has the lipsticks that smell like crayon. It has to be because L'Oreal is the company backing this one up, and these also smell like crayon, which I thought was weird, and I was like... Does that mean this is like the same quality as just like regular L'Oreal lipsticks? I don't know. The thing that I know is that the color of this is really pretty and that the texture and the feel of it is nice. So that's all I can say. If you don't like the smell of like that kind of cranny smell, then you probably won't like this. <laughs> but otherwise, this is a pretty color, you have to admit. So the last lip product is this Creamy Color Classic Lipstick. They had a ton of colors in this one too. This is called Misty Mauve, which I love mauves on me, and I love them especially in the fall. I just think they're nice and they look good. So here it is, and they're not too dark, but they're like pretty. So same packaging, and this one's not supposed to be the sheer one, so we'll see how it um, looks compared to the sheer ones. So here it is right here. Um, just looks like a basic mauve. It didn't really look as pretty as it did on the website, I gotta say. But it looks nice. I haven't tried it on yet, so I'll see what it looks like. So let me kind of swatch this, too. Ooh, looks pretty. It feels so, so smooth and nice. And actually, this color looks really nice. It doesn't look way more pigmented than the sheer ones, but it definitely is a bit more pigmented. So I'm going to try this on now. So weird but this one seemed to be like smoother on my lips than the sheer ones this one just like glided on and it felt it really feels nice and my lips don't really look as chapped anymore um I really like this color too what do you guys think about this I think it's really pretty it's a nice mauve shade it's a kind that I like because it's not too dark it's not really bright and it's not too purple so that, this kind of shade is hard, but I think that this is a really, really pretty color. It has the same um, crayon scent as the others, though. I can get past it. <laughs> so that was my review on like the cheek and lip products that I got from the M Cosmetics line. And overall, I was really pleased, actually surprisingly pleased. And if you want to see more reviews on this line or other products, then take a look at my other videos because... I have a ton of reviews up, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.